Hi, my name is Olis, and I have recently received and accepted the job offer as a QA Automation Engineer. And today we're breaking down the top 10 most asked interview questions for QA Automation and the smartest way to answer them. Let's jump in. But before we get into the questions, here are three principles that make every answer stronger. Rule number one, explain your thinking. Interviewers value structured reasoning more than memorized facts. Rule number two, focus on outcomes, not tasks. Highlight improvements, better stability, faster releases, stronger frameworks. Rule number three, speak like an engineer. Mention architecture, APIs, CICD, patterns, AI, not just bottom level testing. And if something's unfamiliar, explain how do you approach solving it. Let's begin. Here's the question that reveals real engineering depth. Describe the automation framework you worked on. Automation framework I worked on followed a clean layered architecture. Tests sit at the top, supported by page objects, API clients, utilities, and database helpers. Environment configs and reporting, as well as CI CD pipelines. Docker ensuring consistency across machines, and this structure keeps everything maintainable, scalable, and stable long term. The strategy question that shows maturity. How do you decide what to automate? I usually automate things that are repeated a lot or take too long manually. Logging, search filters, crude flows, dashboards, payments, those are perfect for automation. But if something is changing every day or the UI hasn't stabilized, automating too early will just create more work. So I wait until the flow is stable enough or automate the API layer first while the UI catches up. So this one separates textbook testers from real engineers. How do you test third-party integrations like Stripe or PayPal? So for payments, I always use their sandbox. Then I mock or stop a lot, especially for error cases like decline cards or failed webhooks. I also check the databases or logs to confirm the payment status really changed. Front-end only tests can lie, so I always verify the back-end state. I avoid doing the login through the UI. I grab the token with API calls or store state fixtures. A crucial question, because flaky tests break trust. How do you handle flakiness and dynamic UI elements? Flaky tests usually come from timing issues or unstable locators. So I use data test ID everywhere. Avoid waiting for timeouts. Wait for actual conditions. Use API calls for setup and avoid chaining too many UI steps in one test. And when something fails in CI, the first thing I check is, did the element change? Did the network slow down or did the API return something unexpected? Flakiness is usually not the tool, it's the environment or the selector. Now let's go deeper into modern QA. Describe your experience with API test automation. I do API testing every day. The Playwright, Cypress and a lot in the Postman. So typically things I verify are status codes, response structure, auth tokens, negative cases, business logic, and matching API results with database values. API tests are faster and more stable, so I use them whenever possible, especially for setup. This is where SDAT level skills show up. How do you integrate automation into CI CD pipelines? I usually work with the GitHub Actions or Jenkins. The process is simple. Install dependencies, spin up Docker services if needed, run tests in parallel, upload artifacts like videos and screenshots, and send results to Slack or email. Most pipelines are just a few steps. The key is making them consistent, so tests run the same locally and in CI. Now a behavioral question that shows high-level problem solving. What was the most challenging project you worked on? The hardest project was a startup where the UI changed constantly. We had payments, bookings, maps, and all dynamic stuff. Automation would break every day. What helped was switching a lot of prep work to API calls, reorganizing the page objects and cleaning up flaky selectors. Once the structure stabilized, the test runs became predictable and we finally had a green pipeline most days. Here's a question many engineers don't prepare for. Have you mentored junior QA engineers? Yes, most of the mentorship has been helping juniors get comfortable with the automation structure, explaining why certain patterns matter and walking through debugging steps together. A lot of the learning happens in code reviews, pointing out cleaner approaches, better selectors or more stable ways to set up tests. Once they understand the reasoning behind decisions, not just the fix itself, they become much more independent and the whole team benefits. And finally, the most modern question in QA today. 
What is your opinion on AI in testing? AI enhances testing by accelerating test creation, simplifying debugging, analyzing logs, generating data, and supporting framework design. Tools like ChatGPT, Claude, and Playwright MCP server improve productivity and reliability. However, engineering judgment still drives risk analysis, coverage decision, and long-term quality strategy. But AI doesn't replace actual engineering decision. It just speeds up parts that... And now, the most popular question. Tell me about yourself. I am QA automation engineer who focuses on practical, reliable automation. Most of my work revolves around Playwright, Cypress, API testing, SQL, and integrating everything into CI-CD. In my previous roles, especially in startups, I usually had to build things from scratch or stabilize frameworks that were half-working. A lot of my day-to-day -day is writing new script, debugging failures, improving locators, or cleaning up flaky tests. Thank you for watching. If you're serious about getting into QA, working on real projects, or preparing for interviews the right way, you can always connect with Kademify mentors for consultation. I started my own journey at Kademify, manual QA and automation program, and that foundation played a real role in the trajectory of my career. So if you're ready to make the jump, this is the place to do it. And remember, strong automation isn't about writing more tests. It's about building clean, stable systems that gives team the confidence to ship digital products fast and smart.